If you're someone like me, there's a good chance that you have your smartphone, a laptop, or even a tablet within arm's reach all day long. And I will have to admit, I probably have more smartphones just lying around than most people. But that just means that this analogy works even better for me since every single one of these devices needs to be charged on a daily basis, which often means that you have outlets in your house that probably look a little bit like mine, which is to say a cluttered mess. Using the charger that comes with your device is always the easiest and cheapest way to charge your device back up. But with more and more manufacturers like Apple, Google, and even Samsung choosing not to include a charger with their latest smartphones, there's a good chance that you might be looking for a third party option for the device you actually just purchased. Or you can be like me and are simply looking for a way to declutter your outlets just a little bit. And that's where Anchor's new family of GAN Prime chargers come in. And as a full disclosure, they are a sponsor for today's video, but I've actually been using Anchor chargers for years now, and I've been honestly been waiting to see what these new devices have to offer. Now across the board, Anchor's new chargers have a variety of new features. The first of which is Power IQ 4.0, which automatically detects the power requirements of each of the different devices that are plugged in at the same time, and then dynamically distributes the output between them and delivers faster charging. Unlike some of the older multi-port power bricks that offered fixed charging based off of the port that the device was plugged into. With this feature, the chargers dynamically adjust the power distribution every three minutes and release that extra power output back to the other devices that are plugged into the other ports. This means that your devices will charge about 30 minutes faster on average with a dynamic power distribution feature of PowerIQ 4.0 when charging multiple devices at once. The new chargers also feature Anchor's Active Shield 2.0 with better temperature monitoring to protect the devices that you're charging and also the chargers themselves to make sure that they're not overheating. And then finally, there's the new internal architecture with an interlocking structure that allows the chargers to be up to 53% smaller while also reducing the temperature by 17 degrees Celsius while under load. And now that we're caught up on all of the specs, it's time to do a couple unboxings. We're gonna start things off with the smallest box here, which is the Anchor 735. And I'm sure you probably have a couple chargers that are this size, but what makes this unique is that it actually sports 65 watt charging, which is significantly faster than the charger that probably came with your phone. It also has a total of three ports, two USB, which have all the PowerIQ features that I mentioned already, and one USB-A port. Now this probably has to be one of the coolest charging accessories that I've seen in a very long time. Anchor's thrown in a little suction cup holder to help hold the charger on the wall outlet itself. With three USB cables plugged into the charger, it can probably get pretty heavy, especially if you're using a heavily used outlet like those found in a hotel or even on an airplane, which honestly can't hold a regular charger even if their life depended on it. Moving on to the next one, we have the Anchor 737 charger. This one's essentially just a beefed up version of the one we just looked at. It's just bigger all around, but honestly, that's for good reason. Rather than offering just 65 watt charging, which is about what you need to charge two smartphones at the same time, the Anchor 737 gets a massive bump, all the way up to 120 watt charging, making it more of an ideal option if you're looking to replace that bulky charger that comes with your laptop. Would you rather carry around these two in your backpack to and from work or between classes all day long or just swap them out for the 737 and two USB cables? Honestly, it's a no brainer. And just like the 735, you also get that little suction cup adapter with this one, which is likely a little bit more handy here since this one's a little bit bigger and heavier. Next up is the Anchor 733, which is probably the most unique device in this new lineup since it's a hybrid charger and a power bank as well. I know I carry around a lot more tech with me than the average person anytime that I travel, but like me, I'm sure you probably carry around a power bank in your bag just in case you need to charge your devices when there's no outlet available. With this new charger, you kill two birds with one stone since it has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery that's built in. Now, it's a little bit larger than the chargers that we already looked at, but with 10,000 milliamps in your pocket at all times, when it also doubles as a charger, I think that's a good trade off to make. And if you're not sure how much a 10,000 milliamp hour battery will get you, that's typically enough for two charges on a Samsung Galaxy S22. And with a lot of newer laptops these days, that's nearly enough for a complete charge. 
Oh, and the best part is that with this being a wall outlet as well, that means your battery inside of here will always be topped off every time that you're using it as a charger, which honestly is a good thing for me because I can't tell you how many times I pulled out a battery bank out of my backpack and realized I had forgotten to charge it. Now, these next two chargers are a little bit unique as well, since they also feature regular AC outlets. They're essentially a wall charger for your smartphone and a power strip all combined into one. The Anker 727 is the slimmer of the two, though it features a total of six different ports, with two AC outlets, two USB-C ports with a maximum power output of 100 watts, and then two USB-A ports. It also has an LED light around the Anker logo, which is a nice touch, and rubber feet on the bottom to make sure that it doesn't slide right off of your desk. One thing to note is that this is probably the thinnest power strip that I have ever seen. Everything else that's on the market is massive by comparison. It's actually so thin that it's only a fraction of a millimeter thicker than the AC ports that you plug into it. Now, you might think that Anchor messed up here because this can't possibly work. You can't plug something in that's thinner than the device that you're plugging it into. But honestly, someone was simply trying to show off their doctorate degree in engineering here by making the AC ports spring-loaded so that they pop out when you plug something in and then pop back into place as soon as you take something out. It's honestly pretty impressive. And that brings us to the Anker 615, which is also a power strip and wall charger combo. Now there's no fancy pop-up AC outlets here, but you do get a built-in winder for the power cable so that you don't get a tangled mess every time that you want to throw it in your bag. As far as its charging capabilities go, it does have two USB-C ports with 65 watt charging, a single USB-A port, and then two AC outlets as well if you want to plug in anything else. I have to say that Anker's new GAN Prime chargers are pretty impressive. If you're looking for a solution to declutter your tangled mess of wires at home, or simply looking for a solution that's a little bit more compact and portable while on the go, while also offering better and faster charging for your devices, they definitely have something for everybody. Personally, I'm looking forward to using the Anker 733 charger and power bank on my next trip so that I don't have to pack a separate charger and a battery backup as well. This will definitely come in handy. If you do have any questions about any of the chargers that we covered today, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And for more details about all of the chargers, be sure to check out the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.